Well, this lick is, I think it's very cool. It's in A7, uh, but it's got over A7 rod. It's got lots of little clever ideas in it. You'd probably play it as the A7 is moving to the D7, the four chord. I'll explain why in a minute. So we start off um, on the root note here, seventh fret of the D string. Then we go to that major third note, eighth fret of the B string, which is a flat seventh. So now we're, we're moving from this flat seventh note down to the fifth. Now this chromatic movement works. Chromatic moving down your semitones works because it's got a start and a destination. It's not. It's not just random. We're starting somewhere, we're going somewhere. So I'm pulling off and then sliding down, uh, down to that E note. And then we've got this really cool diminished run. Another chromatic thing. So the, the diminished thing, it's diminished, it's A diminished. Uh, so we've got this, which is the minor third of the A, which is the C down to the A, down to that F sharp, and now we're going chromatically down to that C note, which is what we started with here, and then, and then working our way back up to that, um, that root note again. Now the reason it might work well over when you're going over to the D chord is because that that little chromatic that little uh, diminished run will work well as you move into the D chord because it's creating tension. The only thing thinking about it now, you're landing on that A note. But if you think about it, the A note is the is also the fifth of the D chord. So although it might sound like you're going back to A, okay, it will work over the D chord because if you land with that note on the D chord, okay, it's going to sound like the fifth of the D. So it is going to it's going to sound really cool. Um, so I think that's that's nice. There's a lot of flavour in there. I think that's a really cool little uh, lick you could play around with. <laughs> 